Well, hey everybody, and welcome to my next video in my walkthrough of Majora's Mask. We are now in the Deku Palace, and I know it's been about two weeks since I've uploaded last, and that is one reason, because this area has some particular areas that are hard for me. Plus, it was also the holidays. I hope everybody had a good Thanksgiving. So, we did some adjustment with the window in, in the game to see if it will run a little bit smoother. So, hopefully nothing is cut off. But to start, we are going to turn into a Deku Scrub and do the simple part of this area first. Jump across the bridge, and I'm going to save here because sometimes I tend to wander and jump into the water. But not this time. Okay, so you got to talk to these guards, and they won't let you in if you just have your um, regular form. You have to have your Deku mask. But it's a special occasion, so you actually get to go into the actual throne, uh, throne room. So, whoop. Sometimes my getting through this area doesn't really match up that well. And that's a definitely way we don't want to go. There we go. We got through. Alright, now we just want to head basically straight and head into our throne room. And we're running into something right there. Alright, so I hear the torches, and I hear Deku, so I know we're in the throne room. So I basically want to take one step, jump to my right, curve around to the left, until I climb up. Okay, so hopefully the king is right here. Oh, I got a little turned around. Okay, that's not, that's one of the servants. Right, we're close. This is the butler. He has a really whoa, 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 like really low voice. But the king is right next to him, so hopefully we can right walk the right direction. That's the king. He only goes whoa, whoa, and then he does it a second time, so you know it's the king. So to progress in the game, all you have to do is talk to the king at this point, point. and basically that um, monkey and princess went to the temple. Princess, um, the monkey came out, princess did not, king thinks that the monkey hurt the princess, blah blah blah. So now we gotta try to find a way out of here, and I got a little turned around. Because of targeting and a targeted an object I didn't want to target. So I know if I'm away from the Deku Scrubs, and I have the sound of the torches behind me, I know I'm heading towards where the way out is. So let me take a listen real quick. There's the torches right there. So if I head this way, ish. And I know because the sounds of my footsteps will change to like from sand to grass, I think. Once I finally get to that point. Oh, right there. There we go. So those monkeys who came and talked to us before, before we even came this way, they're going to come harass us and tell us that they know a high place that we can get to, but we need a bean plant to be able to get up there, and will we help them? Okay, so at this point in the game, I have to say a huge thank you to one particular YouTuber. I mentioned him at the beginning of my walkthrough. And his name is Zor Zelda. Z O R Zelda. He does. Well, I assume it's a he. Um, I can't make that assumption. We're just going to say they. They make wonderful, no damage, complete walkthroughs. And I think they use the widescreen hack, so it makes it look really cool. And they did this game, and I basically commented on the video of this part saying, hey, I need help with this section. Can you help me? And they made a video of walking through the area with the music turned off which the music in this area is great but it's really annoying sometimes so they made a video for me and in the description gave me text directions about how to do it now to my right or I guess it would be that way to you no yeah that way um, to you guys it's a heart piece you can go to the other way is a bean seller um, nice to have critical so he gave me directions for both 
I found that the heart piece one was harder than the bean seller. So, but there's a second way I might be able to get the heart piece, and we'll look at that later. But big shout out to Zor Zelda for doing this section, helping me with this section, and we're gonna go get the bean seller. So the first thing I want is actually my ocarina. It's over here. Okay. So I'm actually going to play the song of double time to take it to night time. And the reason that is, is because there's onlit torches in these areas, but if it's night time, they actually will light and they provide another sound cue and that is almost critical to getting past this part. So it, we lose a little bit of time, but after this is the woodfall before heading to the temple, so there's not much to do after that. So let's create two save states and start heading forward and to the left. Okay, now I'm gonna create save states right away. And this section is kind of time-based because the guards always start in the same location every time you come in here. And I am going to talk less so I can listen. So I'm going to save right here. So there's a guard going around a rock to my left. Wait for them to go a little bit further. Down. Left. Up. Left. Left. Keep going left. Left, Terry. Left. Now, if I hear some rupees, I know I basically ended up in the right area. And I didn't go far enough left, so he caught me. Okay, here are my footsteps going left. Right, up, left. Maybe a little down, left. There we go. That's the rupees we were heading for. Um, this is a safe zone right here. So those first scars that we got past, I know there was one bottom going around a rock, and then there was one going around a rock to my up, and there was another guard there, and... I basically, when, I, when you enter this area, you have to go pretty quickly, otherwise they come and see you. So now what we want to do is come out to the right, up. Now I hear the torch to my, um, in front of me, or up, but I can't get to it because there's a wall. So basically what I have to do is kind of edge down and keep moving left until I hear my footsteps like that. And I know there is a doorway there. So then I go up, and I go, nope, I'm sorry, I'm going too far to the right because the torches were going off to my left. There we go, that's what we want. Now the torches are off to my right, and I hear a guard way off to my left, or scrub noise, uh, Deku scrub noises, I don't really worry about those, but I want to go up, and then to the right. So I hit that, kind of edge up and right. Now, this is a hard area, because i got to get way over. Up. Oh, you saw me. Okay. So, let's wait, wait, wait a little bit. Let's try it again. Down. Right. Down a little more. Maybe up. That's a rupee. That's good. And the whole... Oh, I was almost there. I think I went too early. Yep. Make sure not to push F5 and reload my state. Okay, let's go. Down. To the right. I think I'm going too far down. Because there's a rupee. Up, up, up. Oh! Okay, I think we can get there next time. Nope, I went too early. Okay, I think I finally made it through. Oh, and I got seen. Okay, now I know we're near the hole because there's rupees right around the hole. 
So let's save here. See if we can find it without being... Yeah, we got it! Look at that, guys. Uh, so that last part was a little more difficult. I just think I had bad timing. But... Turned into our cells. Thank you, Zor Zelda, for that wonderful guide through that area. And this water will become important here in a little bit. We gotta find a guy just sitting on a rug. I think he's over here by the fire. No, let's not do that to him. Stop it! Uh, Alright, he's just selling beans. Uh, while, he, while he's doing that, I'm just gonna check my computer and my webcam here real quick. Oh, I think I'm a little off to the side. Yeah, it's okay. Alright, so we got a magic bean. So a lot of walkthroughs will buy two of these just to show it off in here. I'm just going to buy one because it's free. And now we need something else. In the previous game, you planted them and then waited the time for them to grow. In this game, it works a little more different. Here it is. And we want our bottle. We got fresh spring water. That's how you got to make the the plants grow. Now we actually want to find our way out. There we go. Now, unlike what we were doing before, I want to make a ruckus because I want to be caught. Somebody throw me out. I'm, I'm trespassing in your garden. Somebody find me. There we go. Now we want to be thrown out. Alright, so that was the first difficult part that we had to pass. Let's go Deku Scrub again. Oh, nope, we don't want to do that. Take our bottle off for now. Okay, and the reason I have to go Deku this time is if I hop here and turn right. Oh, 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 geez, oh, geez, oh, oh, geez, oh, geez, I wasn't ready. Ah, okay, so what we gotta do is hop across all these lily pads, and I'm gonna restart because I didn't know exactly where we were. Okay, so we gotta hop across all these lily pads before in the swamp I would swim across, but that's because it wasn't poisonous water. Now it is, so you gotta hop. And there's one here. And I know they basically head off kind of to the left, I think. There's several lily pads, and I miss a lot of them, but as long as I'm heading off in this general direction. Now, there's a path that goes over to the right that we will use later, but we don't want to go that way yet. Alright, so I'm having some really hard trouble finding the next lily pad. So I'm actually going to start over back on the bridge. I think that would be the easiest plan for right now. Okay, stop here. Okay, there's no lily pad here. Another one here. I think this is near the one I was on before. To another one. Okay, 
Okay, so let's try that again. Oh, we should have stayed. Okay. We're making progress. Okay. We have made it! Because... Oh, let's turn into our regular form. Because... This little guy's here! Thank you for that. Okay, so now we gotta uh, find a little area where we gotta plant a seed. And to be honest, that is one of the easier things to figure out. So this grass is in one corner. I know if I go this way from it, turn right, kind of find myself in this corner. No, let's not go that way. No, let's not go that way. Find myself in this corner here. Let me double check by backing up. Nope, that's not the right way. That's the grass, so head forward. Up against this wall, kind of hop left once, hop left twice, and the soil patch should be right around here. So let's get our magic bean. And go planting! That is not my <laughs> magic bean. And let's go planting! Nope. Nope, done with that. There we go. So that basically gave me in the general area, and then I had to basically find the actual spot because it's really sensitive. Okay, so now we can take out our water. And they grow up so fast. Alright, so now we basically got to figure out the ledge to jump on, which I think is over here. Nope. I think we're up on the upper ledge. Yep. Okay, so... This part's fun as well. Okay, I don't think I've fallen down. Okay, so another shout-out has to be done. The I have some friends on my Discord channel. Um, and they really helped me out with this area. One guy actually got a controller and the game and got to this area and actually um, wrote some tips to be able to get through this area. So, it is not easy, but luckily there's enough sound around here to help me out. So, we first got to figure out how to get to the first Deku flower. I think it's on this platform here. Oh, and you got to use this as a Deku scrub. Okay, now let's try to find that first flower. Now if you jump down, all you have to do is get thrown out and try this area all over again. So don't fall down. There's our first Deku flower. Alright, now let's spin around. I'm actually going to come out because it will be actually easier instead of using the Deku spin to spin this way. I want that first enemy to make a noise. 
don't think it's him. That one. So, two save states. So, basically, there's these mad scrubs in this area. And they shoot at you when you get close. But you can also go to them and take their platform. Little off to the right. Little off to the left. Okay, now did I fall? Nope, see, I, I hit him, but I fell. Okay, so I landed on his platform because I can push the Z button and I'm not in the view of the area below me and there's a Diki flower here. If you fall down in the area below, the camera switches and it's back to the top down view. And you can't use Z targeting, so that's a good way to know if you're still on the platforms. So I'm gonna come out, land on my Diki flower. Oh, did I just fall down? Nope. Okay, now we're gonna spin around again. I know I want the torches more to my left. And there's another mad scrub we're going to try to aim for. No, I'm sorry. There's actually a platform between me and the next mad scrub we want to aim for. So let's give this a try. I don't hear him right now. Oh, he's off to the right. Oh, there he is to the left. Okay, let's save right here and give this a try. Oh, that was pathetic. Okay, let's go ahead and save there. This platform is going to be hard to kind of aim for. Because the platform itself doesn't make any noise. All I really have to go off of is the Deku Scrub. See, I didn't even fly over it. I had it! Yeah! Okay, that took way too long. <laughs> Alright, let's not see if we can get to Mr. Excitable's platform over here. Now, another thing you can do is you can actually land on their platform without having to kill them. Now, oh, did we fall off? No, we did not. Good. Okay, can I have your flower, please? Nope, now I fell off. There we go. Alright, so now to get to the next area, we basically want the torches to be kind of behind us. Oh, that's right. I kind of don't use the Deku Flower, because I don't really understand how the sound moves when you're in one of those. Okay, so the torches are basically behind me. Let's give this a try. Nope. That's what we want. Okay. We kind of want to hop until we head through a doorway. And the sound of the next room's torches comes into play. I'm going to save here because I know I'm basically in a safe area. Okay, I think I'm safe. We are now in the next area. I had to do the first one over again because I accidentally fell down. So, 
Let me find a Deku flower first. Alright. Now that we found our Deku flower, we can create two save states again. And spin around, because we want to go to that dork. Why did I shoot off to the left like that? Let's try to prevent that. Got gotcha, you, sucker. Okay, let's make sure we didn't fall. Okay. And yes, I went and created two safe states because I'm just nervous about doing this area over again. But this ain't easy. And sorry I haven't been talking too clearly during this part. It's a lot of just focusing. Where is that other mad scrub? Well, where's the other mad scrub? There he is. I was too far to the right. Okay, so this one is like a sniper because he really doesn't start talking to you until you get close to him. And I'm way off to the left. Got him. Gotcha! Alright. So let me... Oh, let's not fall down. Oh, I fell down again. Okay. Um. Alright, everybody. It is now a second day in this recording. Basically, I had to stop and practice this part. We got to the last Mad Scrub, took his Deku flower, and someone from my Discord server gave me a path to get the next piece of heart instead of going through the guards down there, which Zorzelda described to me, and it was great. I just couldn't do it myself. So they, a friend from Discord helped me figure out this way. So I got the guards off to my left and in front of me and a torch in front of me, so I know if I go this way and drop and hopefully you don't get caught right away. Piece of heart! So I practiced that a little bit before actually doing this. And that's actually what I want to do. I want to get thrown out. Because guess what we got to do now? We got to go all the way back to where we just were before coming over here. So um, let's not do that. Let's not start off that way. All right, so I could make you guys sit through this entire thing again, or we could do what's called an epic edit. So here we go. Alright, we have made it to the last um, Deku Flower again. And now here's... Make sure I don't fall off. Here's where I need your guys' help. So there's a platform. If I get the guards to basically... Torches in front and behind me. And... Basically the guards to my left and right. So, I think, I am hope I'm heading or facing the right way. So, the last platform in this room is the most difficult. Not only does it move back and forth, but it also moves up and down. So, what I'm do gonna do is I want you, the YouTube community, to help me out with this. I want you to tell me where the platform, like, I hope I have it in view here where I'm facing. 
and you can tell me if it's going which time should I come out of the Deku flower and fly toward it. You can leave a timestamp. You can tell me when I'm uh, about when I'm talking here, or you can tell me by like the music. That might also might be a good indicator as well. But if you guys can help me out finish this very last part, then we can get to the monkey rescue, um, or not rescue him, but move on to the next part of the game, which will be a lot easier than this section. So I hope you enjoyed um, this part of the walkthrough. I am going to stay quiet here and just keep the camera on so that way you can make sure I'm heading in the right direction. If I'm not, I'm going to rotate the camera and just give time for you guys to look and tell me if the platform is going to be okay. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and I can't wait for you guys' responses so we can continue in Majora's Mask. Alright, it is up to you guys. See you next time.